here with Jonathan Butler. How you doing? Hi, Donna. I'm good. <laughs> and you hey. are awesome. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> You're a legendary guitar player. They really? Yes. Okay. And you have touched the music industry. Yeah. You know, for decades. Yes. And I see you have your new album out. I have a new CD. Yeah, it's called Close to You. Um, that shop was actually taken in my lounge. Okay. Know? And I was styled by my daughter, Jody. Okay. She always styles me on my CDs. Is she your stylist? She's like my stylist, but I buy my own clothes. Well, you look fabulous. But I sometimes need her just to step in to help her dad out sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Well, you tour all over. Is there yeah. anything special about a New York audience? You know what? I have to say, I grew up, I feel like I grew up in New York City. I, my first visit to the United States was New York. And I came to make my first record here. Took the pictures in Times Square. I had my first experience in New York and whenever I, I remember playing the Beacon Theater uh, the first time playing the Beacon Theater um, and I was afraid I was terrified I was you know culture shock I was a little guy from Cape Town South Africa and the New York audience just you know was, was so wild and crazy like I was I was <laughs> yeah I, I, I actually before the Beacon it was opening for Whitney that was Whitney Houston well that's a big deal you know here and I was like I was completely freaked out, and so I felt like I grew up in front of my fans in New York okay. over the years, and so now I stand, you know, I can comfortably stand on stage and just know it's going to be an awesome night with the new crowd. Yeah. Okay. Do you yeah. find them more appreciative here in New York versus yeah, this other is the, places? Yeah, this is the city I used to walk around listen to jazz at clubs, you know, the bottom line, the uh, 7th Avenue South, Miguel's, and so there's a history here of people that really love truly good music. Of all the material you've recorded, what is your favorite style to perform? It's got to be. I've I've evolved. I've sort of I've evolved over the over over my, the, you know my career, thirty forty year career. I've evolved into becoming a South African. You know, I'm from Cape Town, okay. so now I enjoy playing world music. When I mean world music, it's flavored. I I do still do take good care of me, and I still sing love songs and you know lies and Sarah, but. Okay. I, I under I feel like you know once you get to a place where you understand who you are and where you're from and that is a uniqueness about you. I love playing world music. Actually, my iPhone is full of world music artists. I'm know? sure it is. Like house, hip hop. Like my kids love my stuff that I buy because they think I'm crazy. Like Dad, I can't believe you bought this record. <laughs> like I'm like yeah, it's the vibe. It get, it inspired this all the grooves on this album. Okay, is inspired from you know the new energy coming from South Africa. Yeah. So tell me about your latest album, Close mm -hmm. to You. Like, what inspires you to, to make that album? Well, it's a long story. I, you know, I got divorced five years ago, and oh. I was married for 30 years. And uh, So what brought that on? Just curious. Uh, well, you know, people, when people get tired, people get tired. <laughs> I, never, I never, I'm not the tired type. I'm not the divorce type. I'm this, I'm, I'm a guy that truly stayed the course. That's okay. me. So... That said, mm -hmm. um, I, you know, was going through that the last five years, and I didn't really have it in my heart to write a record for myself, because what am, what am I going to write about my sadness and you left me? No, no. Well, some I, people, you know, do well with that. I don't do well pity with that. Party. I think I, I don't want to have a pity party. I, I got two beautiful daughters that just affectionately loves their dad. I've got a granddaughter that loves me. Oh, okay. So what I did was I, you know, I found something special. One night at my home, I um, have a little piano room, and I was playing piano. I had some friends; my kids were there, and my fiance, my now fiance, played well, the violin. Thank okay. you. She plays the violin. Her name is uh, Nadira Kimberly. Oh, she's, she's talented too. She's from St. Louis. Yes, okay. she's she's on The Voice. She's on you know, um, she plays a number of movies, um, even the new Spike Lee movie. She's in the string section there, and um, she's on The Voice, The Idol, and so she's great. But we played together, we played okay. Close to You, the title track actually. And it was from the title track, that moment, that I kind of felt like this is the type of words that I need to speak, mm -hmm. you know, that I need to hear. And so we started, I started calling my, my manager and saying, like, I want to do the song with Greg. I want to do, I want to do the Burt Bacharach song with the album. Yeah. So your album's composed of most of Burt Bacharach? It's it's, so, oh, it's it's only one song that's an original, which is Cape Town, which, okay. is, which is from my hometown, just to pay homage to my country and also to bring Bird Backrack into the whole South Africa, introduce him to who I am and who we are, and, and 
his music sounds and is now flavored with a little Catonian flavor. So that's what we put there. Yeah. What's your favorite Burt Bacharach song? Well, my favorite song is got to be uh, What the World Needs Now. Well, we need help. Surely we do. Yes. And hopefully today, by the grace of God, we would have all gotten up and voted and, uh, and uh, the power is in our hands to change the course of the country, you know? Okay. Yeah. Well, it was a pleasure talking to you. To and everybody you go out and get this album. I just love the way you, you know what I mean? I love it, it. You know? Everybody, <laughs> you better get this. Okay, let's get it. Get it now. <laughs> I mean, just go get it now. <laughs> Take good care of you. <laughs> and I'm here with Donna Briggs. <laughs> Follow me on Instagram at I am Donna Briggs underscore or Twitter, Donna Briggs 10. And remember, make every day a great day.